Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. Well, this video is about cropping and printing from Photo Raw, specifically for matching to a paper size. Got a question from Colin, and he was printing to a Canon A4 sized paper and wanted to crop his photo before sending it to the print. And that aspect ratio isn't available in the crop tool. So what can we do? Well, there's a few options we have. Let's start by looking at the crop tool and see what the uh, what the limitation there is here. So we go into crop in the edit module and we have a few different aspect ratios here, but there are very few, right? There's a lot of different paper sizes, canvas sizes, uh, none of the European sizes seem to be mentioned here at all for cropping. And this is more, think of this more as things I would output to a screen. That's kind of how I tend to think of it. I mostly use these as either free form or maybe, you know, uh, 16 by nine for wide aspect ratio. So, well, what can we do then for cropping to a particular paper size. We've got a few options. And the first one is to do it as part of printing. If you're printing to a machine you have connected to your computer, you can do it right in the print dialog. So let me show you how that works. So I'll go right up into the print menu. And in the printer setup area, let's choose an A4 paper. I'll just save that for now. And very subtly, hard to see here. Let me uh, let me fill the entire area so you can get a better view. I can actually drag this around, right? So I can make sure I, I size the crop to match the photo. Like I wouldn't want to lose the palm tree in this photo. So I had to bias the crop, shove everything over to the left-hand side so I can keep that right edge. And then from here, I can just go on with my normal printing and I'm good to go. I don't even have to do a crop per se. I'll do the crop as part of the print and just get the print output the way that I want it. The next option we have is in the export panel. So in export, we have options to resize a photo and we can set any custom size that we want. So up in the photo size area, I have chosen width and height. And you'll notice I have a Canon 297 by 210. That's you know, the millimeter measurements for an A4 paper. We have a bunch of different aspect ratios and paper sizes here. And under custom, we can manage custom sizes. You just add something here, give it some name, and set your width, height, and units. And once that's there, we can select it from the menu. Now, the trick, or the caveat rather, with export, is that if export has to crop your photo to match a size you've selected, it will crop from the center outward. And so in this photo, this example here, where I have this palm tree on the on the edge of the photo, I'll end up cropping some of that away. You know, you saw in the print module where I dragged the crop window around and they be able to maintain that tree. I don't have that luxury in the export panel. So export will just do it from the center and on outward. Depending on the photo, that might be just fine. So if you're getting ready for a, a print lab and you need to get to a certain paper size before sending it over to the lab, you can check out the export panel. One other option we have is the resize module. If you gotta get something ready to send out to a lab and you want control over the crop, you go into resize and in the document size area in the preset section, we have all those same paper and print sizes that we saw in export, including any custom sizes you've already made. So I've already made this one here. I'll select it and notice now I have a crop window that I can adjust. It's just like we saw in the, the print dialog. I can grab that window. I can drag this photo over to make sure I don't lose this palm tree on the right side. I'll click apply on that and then from here output it to a file that I'll send off to a print lab. I've had control over the crop window as well as setting the exact paper size that I need. So that is three ways you can crop to a specific paper size when that aspect ratio isn't available in the crop tool. If you want a new aspect ratio added to the crop tool, head over to On One's website and look for the Photo Raw project. That's where you can submit ideas, upvote ones that are already there for how On One will add features to the product. That's how we can tell On One what we want to get in the next version. And with that, thanks for watching the video. My name's Scott Davenport and happy shooting.